Hey everyone, welcome back. So I wanted to do this video because my friend Dana did it and I thought it was such a fun idea. It is a fantasy Sephora shopping cart. If you had a thousand dollars to spend at Sephora, what would you get in your fantasy cart? The things that you add to your cart all the time, you move to the loves, you're like, no, I'll get this at a different time. But if you had a thousand dollars to spend, no restrictions, and you could buy anything, what would you buy? So I loved the idea. I thought it was super fun, especially for my friend Dana, who she is this way like in life in general. So this was like the perfect video for her because this is the game she's played in her entire life. She never buys anything. Um, so we were laughing. But anyway, so I went ahead and I added a bunch of stuff and I have a thousand dollars total like on my screen like on the dot so not even a, a dollar over so I'm just gonna go over them one by one and then I'll pop a picture up of it on the screen what what the item I'm talking about so the first thing I've really wanted to try products from the Patrick Ta line I've only tried a few things like their body oil um, and I think I have a few liquid lipsticks which honestly I'm not like a huge fan of the liquid lipsticks uh, the colors that I got just were recommended and then I just didn't end up liking them on my skin tone but I've wanted to try some of the powder products so I have the major beauty headlines double take cream and powder blush I want to get it in the color she's that girl looks like a pretty almost like coral I like a, a coral pop on my cheeks so that would be the first thing that $34 so it has the cream part and the powder part I just think it would be nice um, next thing is from Fenty Beauty they came out with some new lip slip shine sheer shiny lipsticks I wanted to get all the colors after I watched my friend Mallory um, I think her na name now is Mallory Brooke but Mallory 1712 I watched her video she tried them all on her lips and I loved every color but the color that I chose that I would probably want is the color glazed it just looks like an easy like throw on color but they all look really pretty so I would probably get one of those because I'm I get a lot of lip products. I have a ton of lip products, um, but they're my weakness. <laughs> the other products that I've been wanting to try out are the Fenty Cream Blushes. So I picked two. I picked a neutral color in Cool Berry because I like to have like that more mauve tone. And then I picked another color. These are the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blushes. And I picked a uh, Daiquiri Dip, which is like a super bright poppin' reddish orange color. But I thought that would be pretty like to just have and like those colors on your cheeks just look the most natural. And especially in a cream blush formula. So those are the two. And then I saw that Patrick Star has his new collection out one size. Um, and I just, I love the idea of that. And the, the two products that I saw were the wipes and like a setting mist. I'm pretty good on setting mist, so if I were spending my thousand dollars, I would want to try. They're called the Go Off Juiciest Makeup Remover Wipes. So, juiciest. That makes me feel like they would get a lot off. Um, the next thing that I would want to try is um, from Olaplex. I love their products, and I saw that they have a bond repair, repair trial kit, so it has four products in it and I just I love the Olaplex line my only problem with it is like the products are really really small in general for a hefty price tag so but they do really work for your hair um, so I've used the bond repair several times and I love that next product of is from Iconic London this is the brow silk and brush bundle now I have just was scrolling and saw this product and it just looks extremely interesting to like brush through and set your brows so definitely something that I thought looked interesting and I would want to try because it's a unique product uh, Laneige cream silk mist setting spray my I don't even know if it's a setting spray no this is a um, let me see this is a refreshing fine mist that delivers intense long-lasting hydration so it's basically like a skincare product my friend Dana recommended that and I've wanted to try it so it has been in my loves. The next thing is the Charlotte Tilbury Lightweight Magic Cream Moisturizer. It has SPF 20 in it. I love the magic creams but the night cream and the day cream are a little bit thick, too thick for me. This is the more lightweight version and 
I would love to try that out, especially it has SPF in it. So and I'm a huge fan of Charlotte Tilbury, so there are a few products on here that I would want to try if I had my thousand dollars to spend. So I've wanted to try their new matte bronzers or their airbrush bronzers. And the color that I would get is probably medium. I heard they run pretty light, but I think I would get medium. It just looks like it would match my skin tone, not be too dark, not be too light. Um, and then I would get an, a backup of the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat. Either one of those are the, my two most used go-to colors. And then I would get a backup of the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have the colors in one, two, and three, but I think I would like a little bit of a darker color. So I have the color four medium in my cart, my fantasy cart, um, just because I love that product to just give a glow to the skin. And I think in the summertime when I'm tanner, I would just like to have a little bit darker of one to just give that extra glow. And then I wanted to try the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Highlighter Wand. Now I have the bronzing wand and I love that product. So this is just like a cream highlighter and I chose the color Spotlight. I just think it'll be really pretty. I've heard a lot of great reviews about the product. And then just for like good measure, I love the Dior lip glows. So I got the color Rosewood. That I think that color would be really, really beautiful. Just like a natural throw on type of color. And then I have the Dior foundation in the glow and I want it in the matte to wear more in the winter time. So I got the Dior Forever Matte Foundation in the color three because that's a little bit more tan. Maybe I could wear that going into the summer, going out of the summer. And then the shade two warm peach for the whole year. Those are both 52 each. Laneige Cream Silk Milk Oil Cleanser kind of goes with that hydration line. And I just, I love like oil cleansers. So thought that this one, the cream skin, a very hydrating cleansing oil would be good. And Pat McGrath is something that I love the lip lusts, but I haven't ventured out into very much other products just because I feel like they are kind of expensive, especially the eyeshadow palettes for the amount of shadows that you get. And I just feel like I have a lot of eyeshadows that I really love, but I hear so many great things about them. So I decided, of course, if I had a thousand dollars, I would just, I would want to try them. So I have two of their eyeshadow palettes. Now they're $125 each and they come with 10 eyeshadows. So that is quite a steep price for, but they're bigger pans. So I have the Mothership Artistry Eyeshadow Palette Divine Rose 2 and then the Mothership number, oh, it's a different one, but it's the Divine Rose Collection. Um, but the Mothership V11 and then the V111. So, um, and then which looks more, one is like more bright pink and like duochrome shades and the other one has like more of like dusty mauves. Then I have the Pat McGrath Matte Trance Lipstick in, from the Divine Rose Collection in the color Christy. I just thought that looked like a really pretty neutral pink color. I wanted to try this Super Goop Glow Screen Sunscreen SPF 40. It's like a sunscreen that has a little bit of a glow in it. So when you're putting it on your face, it just automatically gives a glow to your face. So almost like a primer type glow product and sunscreen in one. And the Patrick Ta Blush Monochrome Moment Velvet Blush in She's Sincere. Like I said, I've wanted to try some more Patrick Ta products that are more of like a powder finish. And I just thought that that one looked really pretty and would be an easy peachy everyday type of color. And then the last thing rounding out my bag of a thousand dollars would be the Sol de Janeiro strengthening shampoo and that smells I've heard like the lotion and I just absolutely love that scent I would get the shampoo and conditioner but in my thousand dollar bag I only have room for the shampoo so that makes a thousand dollars on the dot and that is what I would get for my fantasy card. So I love these videos. If if you're curious about what anyone else is gonna get, I'm gonna link the videos that I have watched on this fantasy, fantasy Sephora shopping cart and name some of your products that you have tried, that you would love, that you would put in your fantasy cart, just a few. Um, and 
If you've tried any of those products and you say yay or nay on them, let me know because some of those I have not tried them and if they're crap, then no, I don't want to. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.